In Composer, there's a few things to know about composite component instances, templates, and versioning. The first thing is that in Composer, you're always editing a single instance of a component. Let's use a really simple example. Let's just have a container with a paragraph inside. Now when we turn it into a new composite component, we're taken into the isolation mode. Clicking on the Save button is now going to create the first version of this composite component. After clicking on Save, let's exit and we can see that our new component can now be found under the By Me section of the component library. Now as we drag the component to the view canvas, we'll get another instance of it. OK, then let's edit one of the components so that we'll add an icon component below the paragraph. Exiting the isolation mode, we can see that this only affects a single component instance. To save the instance changes to the composite template, we can click on the rightmost button at the top of the editor. As we can see, the changes are propagated to all component instances as well. Similarly, we can make any instance specific changes to a composite component, like removing the icon component here. But we can also revert the instance to the installed version of the component, which in this case refers to the component template. Finally, cloning into a new view component creates a clone of the current component as a new template, which we can see in the By Me section.